Congress used the same process to fund the Human Genome Project, a museum for Woodstock 1969, and of course, a lobster live cam. Earmarks. They're what members of Congress can use to fund a project in their district by tucking it into a larger bill. The easiest way to think about earmarks is spending with a zip code. So this is when Congress says, we want to spend money on a particular thing in a particular place. Earmarks have been around since the first Congress in 1789, and there's a lot for politicians to love about them. Winning over a congressperson that you want to vote for your bill can be as simple as including a little something for a project they care about. But earmarks gained a reputation for being corrupt. They were banned in 2011, after a few members of Congress went to jail for misusing them in the 2000s. But after 10 long years with few ways to fund our lobster live cams, Congress has brought earmarks back. And some experts are thinking that's a good thing. I think earmarks are going to help Congress work better. The new and hopefully improved earmarks are returning with new and hopefully improved rules to make them more transparent and to avoid a repeat of the whole, you know, jail thing. The likelihood of this happening is uh, much, much lower now. Uh, And all that information is online about who's requesting which earmarks at what point in the process. There's now a hard limit on earmarks making up only 1% of a spending bill. And, bad news for big donors hoping for a little mutual back-scratching, who can get them is limited too. This time around, they said no for-profits are going to get earmarks. So that means that you're mostly going to be focused on not-for-profit education and other not-for-profit institutions in somebody's community. Nearly all Democrats and almost half of Republicans have requested new earmarks. A recent transportation bill had over $4 billion of earmarks for Democrats and about $1.7 billion for Republicans. But almost all Republicans still voted against the bill because the chances of earmarks helping to reach across the aisle are slim. Because you have members uh, who are not interested in legislating, uh, mostly because they don't believe in most of the things that government does, uh, they're going to be focusing on these other issues really to raise their profile. That's why the United States needs a competitive two-party system wherein members are willing to work with one another to adjust their expectations. But that is seen today as being corrupt. You know, why don't you stick to your principles? How did you compromise your principles? By accepting that, the institution is not set up for any individual or even group of individuals to get exactly what they want. 